All righty. All unloaded here at the Coos Bay Speedway. Got a little bit more to do. As you can see, we're here pretty early. You can show them the pit area. There's nobody here. Uh, so, last race of the season. Hopefully no rain or weather comes and um, we're ready to go. Like I said, here at Coos Bay, we won a race earlier this season at this place. So, got some good luck and uh, just hoping for a good car count and a good night to end the season. Here's a look at the Coos Bay Speedway facility. They got some rain here over last night and the track actually held up surprisingly well. I thought this race was gonna end up getting canceled. This is known as the Battle of the Bay. It's the season finale for the ISCS Sprint Cars. Got the awards banquet, a bunch of fun stuff happening tonight. But I wanted to show you guys the track. We haven't been here in about a month and a half uh, since ISCS Week of Speed where, like I mentioned, we won. So exciting to get back to this racetrack and uh, it's gonna be exciting to see how this place holds up with all the weather and what the track's gonna do. You got more than good? Great. Great. Uh, Carly hasn't been in the vlog a whole lot lately. She's getting a little camera shy. Anyway, uh, not sure where we ended up. I'm, I'm pretty sure we were quick time, right Carly? Uh, the track's just really, really clumped up and, and got rough and what happened Carly? Nothing. Okay, so the track got really clumped up, really rough, and so you can just putt around the bottom. That's the safest option. In hot laps, I tried to go wide open through it and just, you know, just power through it, and it didn't work at all. I started biking, and so the safest option was literally just to roll around, lift, use the brake, try to keep it straight. And we were good. We caught another car. That's just kind of the downside of group qualifying. Caught another car and only really got two laps in, but I knew they were pretty solid, so I wasn't worried. It's not that the track's super hooked up, it's just the fact that how it did clump up and stuff, that is the grip from I think some of the, you know, of course the rain and whatnot. So down below, it's slick up on top and then down below it was gripped up and it just started ripping apart. So once they get it packed in, I think it should be a good track. It's just the beginning stages right now where it's really rough. Gonna go watch the rest of the groups and we'll see where we end up. America Swindell Speed Lab hat. 
sixth to first in the heat race. Just wanted to work on uh, being very careful. A few guys out there are new uh, to sprint cars with some of their first races on the front row. And uh, also my apologies for not giving an update after the heat race, So, or after qualifying. Uh, went quick time in our group, started sixth, won the heat. Uh, was running second there in the leader, uh, slowed down. I think he maybe thought the checkered had already came out or just made a mistake and got back by him or got by him and then just kind of worked on my line. I was making a little bit of a mistake in three and four. I was overdriving it. I thought it was sticky enough, but I just kind of kept pushing tight. So I think if I just slow down three and four a little bit, we'll be really, really quick. The 18T is rolling right now and uh, now we'll just see what comes up next. I think we're doing a little hot lap session and then that'll determine kind of where we start based off of time with uh, an invert. We are losing daylight here at the Coos Bay Speedway. Next up, we're doing something kind of different. It's a little bit whack. Let me explain it all to you. So the top eight that would usually pull a pill, we're trying something different. Uh, four of us are gonna go out of time, so two groups, and we're gonna qualify. Pretty much the best time will be the highest, and then they're gonna do a pill drop. So it's gonna line up off time, top eight, and then I think they said they're either gonna pull a four or a six, and that'll kind of determine you know where you start. So if I go quick time, I would start sixth. If they pulled a six and then if they pulled a four, I'd start fourth. So it, it, it's just a little bit different. We'll try it and see how it goes. Track's starting to smoothen out a little bit, but still has a good amount of grip and fairly narrow. So we'll see how this goes. I'll give you another update on the track. A lot of loud cars here fitted next to us. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, we're going to head out for that next, and I'll kind of give you an update on the track and where we end up. You can kind of see right here, starting to sprinkle a little bit. That is not good. I didn't think weather was supposed to come until about four or five in the morning, so I thought we were in the clear, but it might start raining a little bit. Just got done with that qualifying, hot lap, time in, whatever you want to call it. Ended up third quick, and then they went and pulled between a zero, a four, and a six, and they ended up pulling a zero, so we're going to start third. Not bad, just the track's really, really narrow and hasn't widened out like it has in previous times being here, so that's the only concern I really have. I know our stuff's going to run. We're going to have a good setup. We're fine-tuning it. Uh, just trying to get it figured out. I felt like I didn't have enough side bite kind of there. Like, I entered in one and two one time and almost just slid through all the, the marbly stuff. My car just didn't really plant like I wanted it to. So we're gonna fix that and then also work on getting drive as the track changes. Now, but with this rain, this could change it all. Just sprinkling, but if it, if it starts raining more, then that could be a problem. So we're gonna see what the weather does here. If it starts raining harder, we definitely could go under rain delay or you know, it could cancel. The track's already super, super wet, so this added moisture is not gonna be any good. <laughs> I got a lot of tear offs on. I can't believe I'm even telling you guys we're gonna race. We rolled it in. You guys kind of saw some of the mayhem of everyone trying to roll it in. Went out and did hot laps. We were turning 17 and 18 second laps, which is five or six seconds off the pace. It's kind of starting to come in. Then the next session they did about 15 second laps. So I think it's gonna be hooked up. I mean, I know it's gonna be hooked up, but I mean like the track's fastest point. So um, we'll see how this goes. I'm trying to be optimistic. I don't feel the greatest about it just because I don't like hooked up tracks. It's dangerous, it's narrow, and there's a lot of guys out there that, you know, it's just, it, we're gonna be in traffic and whatnot. We're in a good starting spot, 
but uh, it's just going to be tough. So we'll see how it goes. It's going to go from literally being greasy when we're out there to hooked up and maybe past that. So the track's definitely going to be changing a lot. And um, we're going to start third, heading out for that next. And I'll see you guys on whatever GoPro I have or my sister will be filming. Most likely you see that. The two veterans pacing the field. Exiting corner number four this time by. They're about to light things up here on this fast three-eighths mile. Kind of soaked. 
Wasn't running too bad, running like third uh, midway through the race, and I could, I could, all right, hit the wall early on. That kind of, I thought, maybe messed something up, but I think it was fine. It just, the track was getting better and better, so I was getting tighter and tighter, and I kind of finally figured it out how to run like a diamond line in three and four, one and two, kind of just right around the bottom, and I went to one and two and hit a little bit of a bump, and I looked down in the box. Uh, I could I could feel fluid leaking and everything and then I could feel that my legs were kind of soaked in my shoes and, and I, it just wasn't good so um, I just pulled over stopped and uh, let it end my night not a whole lot you can do we've had a few issues with that uh, this whole season with the Allens coming loose and whatnot and we tightened back up we thought you know maybe they just came loose but now we just need to send it back to KSE and get it fixed so I um, just wanted to try to get a few more races out of it and uh, now it's finally time to take it off and as you guys can see so a little bit tougher to see but it is everywhere, especially down there. Soaked everything here in the cockpit. Most frustrating part is actually I kind of just started to figure it out and thought I maybe would have a chance at maybe the win. Um, I don't know, I was, I was more frustrated going into the feature and just with everything with the rain. Uh, we'll talk a little more about that after we get this all loaded up. It's getting late. As you can tell, it was pretty slick tonight. Uh, absolute... I, we okay so one of our my my friends and i's favorite terms is mud turtles and that's what we call modifieds because one of our friends races modifieds by the way i love watching modifieds a mods b mods they actually race very well i'd like to try one one day but he calls them mud turtles so that's what we've always called them this was literally a mud turtle tonight absolutely digging uh just you know typical rainy day soaked the track up it went from being you know decently hooked up to, to really, really hooked up. As you guys saw what happened to our steering box, fluid everywhere, uh, time to take that out. And as Brian Crockett said, and I would agree with this, better that it happened the last race of the season than happened the first race of next year, so we'll get that all fixed up. But before we end this video, I wanna end this off with like a bright, you know, pump you guys up type thing. And that is we won the championship and they finally gave us the trophy. Check it out. Now, since there wasn't a ton of cars here tonight, I believe we only had 18, but a lot of them not in the points, uh, they just gave me the trophy at the, the pit meeting, so I'll play that clip for you. And our 2019 ISCS champion, and how many races did you win? Like, not all of them? <laughs> 11 teams. The number 18 team, Tanner Holmes! So that was awesome. First ever Sprint Car Championship, ISCS. We had to work for it. Six wins. Uh, I don't know the rest of the stats. I mean, I know, of course, 11, 11 top fives, 12 top tens, worst finish seventh. But on my Instagram, you'll see a more in-depth with our average finish. I mean, our average finish was like between two and three. So insane results we put up this year. I'm so thankful for everyone who worked hard on the team. I promise, guys, I won't title this video anything negative about rain or a bad night. We're going to title it about our championship. It was a great season. Even though all these non-points races we struggled, man, we can't forget about the year that we had. So uh, just an encouragement to you guys. If you're having a rough year, if you're having some rough races, keep pushing through. It gets better, and it's just part of racing. It's the ups and downs. So sometimes they don't want you to win. Sometimes they want you to win. Anyway, see you guys all in the next video. Can't thank my sponsors, my crew enough, and um, my family for just all the support. It's been a good one. So I'll see you guys all in the next video. Time to head home. Final sprint car race is over, and the season's done. See ya. Jesus.